A lot of people ask me why I don't just pick up now and continue the strip. And for a number of reasons, I can't physically because it takes an awful lot of focus and concentration to draw and ink the, the artwork itself. And by the time I have drawn and inked one panel now, I really can't see. If I work for half a day concentrating, I should not drive. I literally cannot see. That's, I mean, that's the reality of it. And sometimes, not today perhaps, but sometimes my hand shakes so badly, I can't draw. I mean, my stuff is so covered with whiteout, so it's a physical thing. But if I was to start the strip again today and continue it on to the future, I'd have to bump off the husband. Ellie Patterson would have to be a single woman. And you'd have to go through, and, and, and he'd have to be bumped off in a funny way. He'd have to pee on an electric fence or something. He'd have to, um, I mean, John used to go to the Lucky Clucker for lunch, right? And Ellie would be ticked off that he'd be eating fried chicken. So the family's got, and, and like um, Eastside Mario's that used to have that giant tomato over the door, the Lucky Clucker would have a massive metal chicken hanging over the door. And the family would be inside, and John would have to go out to the car to get something, and on his way in, by golly, that thing would have rusted through and John would be no more. Well, you know, you'd, you'd have to go through the mourning process and then Ellie could get into the thing about having a new life and dating and going on eHarmony and, you know, screwing around. God only knows. It could be a very interesting comic strip from day to day on. And as, as enticing as it is, I physically can't do it. <laughs>